Hey Power Rappers, this is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works, and in today's video, we're going to show you some of my favorite tools for managing or developing against the Dataverse database. So stay tuned. Whether you're a developer or an administrator of Dataverse and building applications with that against Dynamics or Power Apps, there's a few tools that are must-haves in your arsenal. All the tools we're going to share with you today are free. They're downloadable free on the web. You might, uh, some of them are harder to install, some of them are maybe easier to install. We'll also put some links to all these tools in the instructions down below, the description down below, and some of the uh, common issues you might experience when you're first configuring these tools as well. Things like authentication errors, if you have multi-form authentication, and those kind of things. So let's take a look at my first tool out of, out of the gate. Uh, this is called the XRM Toolbox. A lot of you guys may already have seen this tool, and there are quite a bit you can do with it. So, first of all, the uh, XRM Toolbox can be downloaded at xrmtoolbox.com. Once you're here, you'll see it's actually a, uh, a collection of a whole bunch of tools. So here's all the tools that we actually can, can use and some descriptions around it. Uh, all you have to do is download it and configure it. So let me go ahead and open up uh, my directory where I have this installed. There we go. And you'll see once you uh, unzip the tool, there's a tool called xrmtoolbox.exe. Go ahead and open it up and it will auto configure as far as uh, when there are updates, it'll automatically check for updates and run those updates periodically. Here's a list of all the tools that it has with some descriptions next to each tool. So some of my favorite ones are the SQL for CDS by Magic Marker Bear, uh, amazing tool for querying your databases, your Dataverse database, running updates against it, inserts, all the classic stuff you can do in T-SQL, you can do there. Fetch XML Builder, amazing tool for building out um, uh, Fetch XML queries. You can use that in Power Automate or in Power Apps. There's also a whole bunch of tools for doing like bulk administration, for managing web resources. There's a lot here. Also, if you are a uh, portal administrator, some tools here for that as well. So to start with, what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new connection, show you how this will happen. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to use the connection wizard, but if you have multi-form authentication, you might have to configure a secret and uh, client ID. You'll do that at portal.azure.com, uh, let's go over here, you'll find that at portal.azure.com, and I will put directions at the bottom of this link here as well uh, on how you can actually configure that. All you'll do, let me, go, let me go back there one more time, there we go, portal.azure.com, you'll go over to your, um, uh, your Active Directory and you'll create an application there where uh, it can authenticate you into the CRM side. So Active Directory, then you'll go over to App Registrations, and you'll create a new registration right here and a new secret. So again, you'll go here, you'll create that registration, and I see I have a little XRM toolbox right here myself. So that might give you issues if you have multi-form authentication, and that will get you around that. That's that client secret and ID, and I'll put a link to those instructions in the, in the description down below. Once you're done, you just have to get that org ID. You can get that org ID by going over to your environment, like this guy right here, for example. Then you'll click on the uh, little gearbox. Let me actually go to a new environment here. I'll go to Brian Knight's environment. I hit the gearbox up on the top right, and then go to advanced settings. That gives me this little ID that you're seeing right here in the advanced settings. I'll copy that, and then go back over to here, paste it in, and then I'll hit uh, next. Go ahead and type in my username and password. Okay. There we go. I'll then hit next. It's going to, then going to ask me a few questions. The question it's going to ask me is what color do I want to put around that connection? This is useful if you have to do things like um, uh, you want to make sure you're in production. So you, because you're going to make sure you're in production, uh, you can put a highlight around that so you know that you're actually messing with production data. I'll make mine a little purple here for my development environment. That's good enough. And then I'll call this just Brian Dev. Uh, test, uh, personal environment. All right, then I'll hit finish. Now that I've got that, I just need to go ahead and connect to it. You'll find that connection up top. I'll go ahead and connect to my test environment right here. It's a different environment I recognize. And then once I've done that, I click on any of the tools that I might have installed. If you want to install some tools, you go to the open toolbot tool library here. 
you'll just, you'll just go ahead and double check on all the ones you wish and then hit the install button right there. Let's kind of take a look at one of the tools in this toolbox here. Uh, the SQL 4 CDS is my favorite tool out of the box because I'm a SQL guy. And what I can do here, you'll see I'm actually pulling up my last table that I queried. Uh, I can go ahead and uh, run any kind of queries against it. You can also, if I want to purge a whole bunch of data in, in bulk, we can also just run a big delete statement. There we go. When I hit go, oops, you can see I have my delete statement right here. And when I run that, oh, and you can see in this case, it's saying I, I have to have a where clause of some sort. I can turn that off if I wish in the settings panel right here. And there's, it's called safe delete here, basically making, making sure that um, if you want to do this, that I'm gonna prevent deletes without aware. So if you wanna keep that there, that's fine. You can also turn it off, or I can just say where one is equal to one, and because one is always equal to one, or two is always equal to two, it, that's my where clause met. When I run it again, it'll ask, hey, are you sure you wanna delete the records? Hit yes. It'll ask a few times here in this case, and then I'm off to the races. So you can also do this for inner joins. You can see all your schema on the left side here as well, so I have to kind of navigate down. We can kind of drill on these schema areas here. We can uh, actually output uh, a whole bunch of other good stuff here as well. So you'll find under, under format here, we can reformat that. Um, we can also so to build a better query. We can also go over here and convert that into Power BI using M queries, and we can convert it into Fetch XML if you wanted to. So when I click on that, it will go ahead and give me the Fetch XML query right here as well, which could be used in things like Power Automate, for example. So easy peasy. That's one of my favorite tools because it has so much to it. Also, if you want to use it for bulk downloading all the attachments to create an off-site backup of those attachments, there's another tool inside of this toolbox for doing that. Lots of great tools inside this XRM toolbox. So explore around, find out what you like the best. Next favorite tool though, let's go to our next one here. Our next favorite tool is a, a plugin that you can do, a browser plugin. To get this plugin, just go to your, your store. I'm using Edge in this case. So I'll go to my, my uh, extension store here. Okay, there we go. But Chrome, of course, same thing as there. Look for, in your browser, in your uh, uh, extension store, look for Power Apps. You'll see there are two extensions you can download here that are amazing. Uh, my favorite one is the Level Up, but this one is also is really good for doing bulk operations and getting the metadata out of your dataverse. So both of these are really cool tools that you can download. Once you download those, I'm gonna go over to a quick power app here that I have open. There we go. You'll see those tools light up right here. So let me go ahead and click on the, uh, the bulk tool here, or the, uh, the, the, uh, the bulk tool. And the bulk tool here, let me go ahead and tell it not to do that right now. Uh, I'm gonna browse the metadata, it'll open up a new tab and show me all the metadata, all the information that I can then use. I'll pick just a random, random table here but I have all the relationships, a whole report here of what option sets are used, what many-to-many -many relationships, one-to-many, and all the attributes that I can then dump into an Excel spreadsheet if I wanted to. We can also open up all the entities and all the option sets here as well. So lots of good stuff there, but let me go back to our, um, our app again. Oh, I may have closed my app, I did. Let me go ahead and open that up again. Okay, find a model-driven app, that will work, okay. And then I'm going to go to uh, my proposals, pick a random proposal. Okay, Brian's new Lambo. <laughs> and when I'm here, let me hit this little level up button here. First thing we can do is a whole bunch of tools here as well, just like the last one. First one is I wanna see all the logical names. Traditionally, I have to go out to the solution and find those logical names here. In this case, I can just hit that one button and copy and paste right into Power Automate or the Power Apps, and then I'm off to the races. There's on clear it right here. We can also blur all the fields. I wanna do a video like this. We can go to God Mode where I can see all the hidden fields that are, that are here as well, okay? Another one neat thing you can do is you can say record ID. This will give me the record ID for whatever record I'm looking at. I'm gonna paste it in up top. So I can then copy that in to something like Power Automate for Git Row by ID or maybe I'm build, building some JavaScript instead. The next one I can do, uh, we also can see all the subgrids. We can refresh them all in one click. We can show all the option set values of this. One click, look at that. There's my numbers I can use in Power Automate as well. Oh, I did it again. I closed it again, didn't I? There we go. Um, we also, now the reason I'm seeing these, these names right here, by the way, is because I have that turned on right here. I'll just turn that off, hit update setting, and that should go ahead and fix that now. Some people like that, I like that also, but I use this for that tool. 
Uh, additionally, we can sign up to all the, broad, all the business rules right here. And as we look into this, we can go into the properties of the record, get deeper into that. We can toggle all the tabs. We can clone the record if you wanted to. You can also, the, the really neat thing you can do is I can go over to the, um, the impersonate area and I can impersonate to figure out what would happen if Mitchell came in in this case. If I turn that on, click that, I'm now seeing the same kind of data that Mitchell would see. Does he have access to it? Does he not? I'm basically impersonating him right now to see why is he missing access or why is he not seeing certain things in this case. Uh, you also have a whole bunch of navigation. So I wanna go jump over really quickly to see all the processes that are running. I can click there and it will jump you right over there. Of course, there's lots of ways of getting there, but that's, that's a really neat, uh, fast way to kind of hop around uh, the advanced settings area. So this is my second favorite tool to use on a regular basis. It is the, the uh, two um, uh, level up and the other plugin here for doing bulk, bulk things here as well. Awesome tool, again, also free as well. The third to most important tool that I think is something called the CRM REST Builder. There's a whole bunch of ways of doing this. This is a, a tool that was built uh, quite a white, quite an age, uh, quite some time ago. And again, I'll put the link into the GitHub repository in the chat window. To install this, you simply have to go over to your solution, and you'll hit the Import button. If you go to my right uh, right environment here. You go to your Import button, and I'll browse out, find the REST Builder right here, the manage code for that hit open and hit next and then import that solution. Now what this is going to give me is a better way of writing JavaScript. So if you're not quite the level where you need to write JavaScript yet, then don't worry about this, this, uh, this plugin right here. In a few minutes, I'm gonna see the rest, CRM REST Builder right here. Let me go to an environment where I already have it turned on. I'll go to my, um, my Brian test environment. So you'll see that has been installed here. So once I'm in here, let me go to a pro, uh, go to a, a record here, for example. I'm gonna go to the advanced editor again, okay? This is how you're gonna access this. Then I'll go over to any of the, uh, kind of the, the old classic views here. I'll go to customization, that should be good enough. I'll see it up top here. All right, now, now that I'm here, you'll see an extra little ribbon up top. Okay, come on. And this is going to allow me to do some interesting stuff. Turn all these guys off. Come on. Please refresh it here. There we go. Oh, and I refresh it too soon. Let me go back to customization again. There we go. Let's go to some some I'm looking what I'm looking for is this old classic editor right here. Once I have the classic editor open, you'll see an option. Oh, that's there. That is not it. Let me go back to um, solutions here. There we go. There we go. Uh, am I in the right environment? That is the question. No, I am in the right environment. It has been turned on. Let me do a control refresh just to make sure everything's in here. Okay. And try one more time. There it is. So I once I installed it, I had to do a control refresh, a hard refresh to make sure it was, it was actually showing this button that you're seeing up top. So this is only available for you as an administrator or for as a developer. Once I click on this, it's, not, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty old looking interface. It was built quite some time ago, but what it does is pretty cool. So who cares about the look and feel when it, when it does this for you? So I'm gonna create a new request. I'm gonna retrieve a single record, but I can also find multiple records or create a, a create script or an update script or whatever. Uh, once I do that, I'm gonna to point to the entity that I wish. Okay, I should have had that GUID somewhere here still, I do. And I'm gonna to point to that entity, I think it's called prag underscore something like that, prag underscore uh, proposals. If I can find it here, there it is. All right, it's gonna ask me, what do I wanna return from that? Well, I wanna return, how about just the uh, proposal cost from that? So I'm gonna build a query, I'm gonna pass this one ID in, get back the cost out, and I'm gonna format that as a web API, or I can do this JavaScript if I wanted to as well, a jQuery. And when I'm all done, I can hit create request, and there is my request right there. That I would then copy and paste into my JavaScript and then tweak a little bit and I'm off to the races. We can also though go over to uh, uh, hit the execute code right here, and then we'll see the results right here to make sure that this actually worked. Like I see it was in US dollars and it was $45 proposal, and then I can go back to the code and actually tweak this again. So this allows you to build out some JavaScript much, much easier than you could before. 
It also has plugins here for, to help you with C sharp and other kind of areas like that as well. So lots of good stuff inside this plugin, but it's one of my must haves if you're trying to learn JavaScript to interface with, uh, with, power, uh, with power apps or Dynamics also. This, some of the queries you can do here also can be used in Power Automate. All right, so those are my three favorite tools. We started with the XRM Toolbox, a collection of a whole bunch of, of items you can use in Power Apps, Power Automate, and the like, and Power Portals. Uh, we also showed you uh, some of the plugins that you can use. Those plugins will allow, the, uh, the Chrome plugins, or Edge plugins, will allow you to kind of uh, quickly do some things that take you a long time to do normally. And the last one was a CRM REST Builder. If you have a favorite tool, post those also in the comments of this. We'd love to find out what you're using as well. Until then, have a great day. And don't forget, you can find us at pragmaticworks.com. We have things like hackathons, virtual mentoring to help you get unstuck. And we also have uh, some on-demand learning and boot camps around Power Apps as well, where we teach some of these tools there as well. Have a great day, though, and thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, ring that bell. Have a great day.